Habari ndugu wana World Entertainment. Na leo tupo katika segment ya michezo. Klabu ya Yanga Africa imejipatia CEO mpya. CEO huyu ambaye alikuwa ni mtendaji wa tipi Mazembe ya DRC Congo anaitwa Agre Mteme ni raia wa Zambia. Anaonekana ana experience kubwa sana na mpira. Na haya ni maneno kadhaa ambayo ameongea rais wa Yanga Africa Helis Saidi. Mkurugenzi wa mawasiliano afisa habari mkurugenzi wa wanachama na maeneo mengine kadha wa kadha ambayo tuliyatangaza tulipokea mapendekezo au maombi mengi na sisi kama club ya Africans mimi pamoja na kamati yangu ya utendaji tuliteua a small committee ambayo ilikuwa na jukumu la kupitia uh, maombi hayo ya ajira na baada ya kupokea maombi hayo kamati hiyo ilianza kufanya kazi ikafanya Uh, mapitio ya watu wote waliomba nafasi hizo na mwisho wa siku ikapatikana idadi ya watu ambao walikuwa na vigezo vyote na mwisho ikafanyika zoezi la interview ambalo zoezi hilo lilifanyika hapa kwenye hoteli ya Serena katika siku mbili zenye mfuatano siku ya Ijumaa na Jumamosi ya wiki iliyopita zoezi hilo la interview lilikwenda kuleta majibu ya, ya maeneo ambayo Young Africans ilikuwa inahitaji watu na watu hao ambao waliweza kuomba kwa vigezo husika. Leo kwa heshima na taadhima tunakuja mbele yenu wanachama na wapenzi wa Club Young Africans lakini wa Tanzania kwa jumla kumtambulisha Andrew Mtine kuwa CEO wa Club Young Africans. Andrew Mtine ni raia kutoka Zambia, majirani. Majirani zetu lakini pia na historia kubwa sana ya mpira wa Afrika. Andrew Mtine amekuwa kimdumu nyanja kadhaa za mpira kuanzia mwaka 1988 nchini kwao Zambia akihudumu katika vilabu kadha wa kadha katika nafasi tofauti. Bidco United, Zesco United, Bar Wanderers zote za nchini Zambia. Lakini pia amehudumu katika idara ya fedha ya Federation ya Zambia kama mkuu wa kama treasurer akiwa na background ya finance lakini pia amehudumu katika level kadhaa za CAF ikiwemo kwa match commissioner lakini pia mjumbe wa bodi ya fedha au finance committee ya CAF lakini miaka hivi karibuni ya takriban miaka 12 amehama kutoka nchini kwao Zambia akawa na majukumu makubwa katika moja katika club kubwa Afrika ya Tipi Mazembe. Amekuwa pale kama mtendaji kwa miaka mbili akivuna experience kubwa kutoka katika club kubwa Afrika lakini pia akitumia nafasi hiyo uh, kuifanya club hiyo ifanye vizuri ndani ya mipaka ya Congo DRC lakini nje ya mipaka ya Congo kwa maana mashindano ya kimataifa. Nafasi hii anakwenda kuchukua kama CEO wa Club Young Africans kwa mkataba wa miaka miwili mkataba ambao utampa nafasi ya kuhudumia club hii na kutumia experience yake kuifikisha Yanga mahali ambapo wanachama wapenzi na wapenda michezo nchi hii wanataka kuiona Yanga ikifika ni imani yetu sisi kama secretary kama excom au kamati ya utendaji ya Club Young Africans imani yangu kwamba Andre Mtine atakwenda kuongeza thamani kubwa kwenye club yetu na experience yake itakuwa ni sehemu muhimu sana ya kuipeleka club hii kwenye mafanikio makubwa. Mafanikio hayo tunazungumza ni ndani ya mipaka ya Tanzania lakini kama nilivyosema experience yake nje ya Tanzania uh, nikizungumzia mashindano ya kimataifa ya kupitia CAF itakwenda pia kujenga club yetu. Kwa fupi namtambulisha Andre Mtine kuwa CEO mpya wa Club Young Africans effective immediately. Mr. Fusa I would like to take this opportunity um, to welcome you, Andre, to this uh, club, the biggest club in Africa, the most decorated football club in Tanzania, uh, the club that has the history above all, the club that has been in every part of our independence, the fight for our independence, 
the club that has raised the football of Tanzania to the next level, and the club is Young Africans. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you as our CEO, and please, um, I'm going to give you a few minutes to introduce yourself and have a word with our media guys. Please, Andrew and Tina. Assalamu alaikum. All protocols observed. It is indeed a pleasure and honor for me to be standing here today as the new CEO of Young Africans Football Club. Young Africans Football Club, as the <coughs> President has said, has a tremendous history. And people were saying to me, why younger? And I said, Yanga ni tim kubwa. That's why Yanga. Without the history of Yanga, those who were part of the formation of Yanga in 1935, those who managed Yanga going forward, I wouldn't be standing here today. And indeed, the current leadership. This club grew from nothing to something. And for this, I'm grateful and I have this opportunity to work with Yanga. I want to say that I indeed have been in football for many, many years as the, um, a club administrator, as a coach. Many don't know that I have this background. Uh, as an executive member of the Football Association of Zambia, as treasurer of the Football Association of Zambia, as match commissioner for CAF, I came here many years ago and commissioned a match of uh, Moro United. I uh, have been in, at Inkana as an executive member and on the board of directors, Power Dynamos, as an executive member, uh, to mention a few teams in Zambia and of course Zesco. I came here twice or thrice for camping with Zesco. At that time I was on the technical bench and then I joined TP Mazembe and rose through the ranks over the 12 years to finally deputize Mr. Frederick Kitenge, the CEO. So that is my background and given the background and foresight of uh, Yanga through President Engineer Hesse, I believe that together we can to steal from Barack Obama and continue to drive this uh, club forward so that we can achieve a lot of success, 